In this video, we're going to go over the axioms of probability. These are extremely important, and they're also very useful for proving a lot of the basic theorems surrounding probability. Let's go ahead and go through it very carefully. So suppose we have a sample space. We have a sample space, which we'll denote by capital S. So the sample space is a set of all possible outcomes of some random experiment. If S is discrete, all subsets correspond to events. So all subsets of S are events. If S is continuous, it's a little bit different. Only special subsets And those subsets, by the way, are called measurable. Correspond to events. So to each event, in the set C of events. We associate a real number, which we'll call P of A. This is actually now, what we've done is we've defined a real valued function on the set C of all events. This is a real valued function on the set C. P is called the probability function, and P of A, the probability of A. So here, we just say P is called the probability function. And P of A is the probability of event A. So P of A is the probability of event A. And this is assuming the following axioms Those axioms a little bit <laughs> it's an M and an S are satisfied. Okay, so we've finally gotten to the axiom. Just wanted to spend a little bit of time, uh, you know, you know, introducing the sample space and talking about the case where, you know, if it is continuous, then we have the set C here. It's the set of all events, and we are going to associate, uh, you know, a probability, right? That's what we're trying to do here. A real number, which we'll call P of A, and that will be the probability of A. And then we're going to say P uh, is a probability function, assuming that these things are satisfied. So we need this to work. Uh, so these things are the things that we need for a probability function. So the first one is that uh, P of A is greater than or equal to 0 for, for every event A 
and C. Okay, so it's non-negative always. That's we're going to call that axiom one. Okay, axiom two. We're going to say that uh, for the sure or certain event s uh, p of s is equal to one, and s s is in c in c. And the third thing we need for a probability function is that for any number of mutually uh, exclusive sets, so for any number of mutually exclusive sets, and let's just say uh, a sub one, a sub two, you know, et cetera, in C, when we take the union, the probability of that union is going to be a sum. So P of A1 plus P of A2 plus dot dot dot. Really nice. In particular, for two events, uh, you know, P of A union P of 2. So let me go ahead and show this in particular. For two, for two mutually exclusive events, say uh, A1 and A2, we have P of A1 union A2 is equal to the sum P of A1 plus P of A2, and that will be that. So those are the axioms of probability. I just want to introduce them quickly in this uh, video um, because you do need them sometimes for proof. So if you're doing like, you know, introductory proofs with probability, just try to fall back on these and you should be able to figure it out. Good luck.